Welcome back to the channel investors guys the greatest short squeeze opportunity in the market right now ticker symbol MMTLP is currently down 30% on the day is this play over or what on earth is going on we got a lot to talk about in today's video and specifically i want to talk about a 50 dollars price target that has been put on ticker symbol mmtlp now first guys before we get into the video i need to ask you a very important question have they turned off the buy button for you guys on mmtlp i actually got someone in the private discord community today private message me saying that they could no longer buy mmtlp so leave me a comment down below saying yes i can still buy mmtlp or no i cannot we need to know about this because this is very very important also if you guys are still bullish on mmtlp and think this is still the number one squeeze in the entire market leave me a comment down below saying mmtlp to the moon let me see the community but nevertheless guys let's get right into the, this video because i have a lot to talk about regarding this short squeeze opportunity but then also three other penny stocks that i personally think are going to make a serious returns possibly hundreds of percent returns in the relatively near future so guys let's get right into this video now first I want to start with ticker symbol LASE because it seems every single day I talk about this stock and it continues to go higher and higher and higher as you can see just a couple days ago literally just back on October 10th year I brought this stock to you guys at a dollar 87 per share and as we can see today it is now over four dollars per share as you can see this stock has literally been on a rocket ship here and since i gave this stock to you guys it is now up well over 100 percent so shout out to everyone that was able to get a triple digit win on ticker symbol l-a-s-e and guys if you want all of these penny stock trades early including this one and countless others you need to be in the private discord community if you're not you're missing out on hundreds of percent gains like this one like fngr like gegi like gg I, I, you name it hundreds of percent gains on all these penny stocks some of them that i cannot even bring it to youtube we drop all the dd in the private discord community and also something that no other community does we go live trading talking about the best penny stocks and best options in the market every single day of the week so if you want to go live with me every single morning make sure you get in that private discord community that link is in the description below and it is also on the screen right here to our website click that get your subscription and I better see you all live tomorrow morning because we're going to have an absolutely amazing Friday and make some money on live. But anyways, guys, let's get into it. So MMTLP, this stock is down 33% in one day. What on earth is going on? Am I still bullish on this stock? Well, let's talk about it. First off, I gave this to you guys most recently, just a couple days ago, at $3.47 per share. That's if you're extremely late to the party of this whole entire movement. But nevertheless, on October 10th, this was at $3.47 per share. So still today, even after a 33% drop, it is still up substantially, sitting at about $4.50. But nevertheless here, just like it says here, this is why I want you to leave that comment down below mmtlp and mmat schwab for the first time ever is waiting to loan out my shares for eight percent hmm must be getting scared hold so like i said leave me that comment down below first off is this happening but also are you still able to buy that is extremely important as far as a numbers perspective goes but nevertheless regarding the pullback like it says here too much too fast you obviously know that things can't go straight up forever so if you still believe in this stock then a small pullback can't really scare you because nevertheless things just cannot keep going up and up and up forever they need to pull back they need to settle down rsi needs to cool off before they continue that next leg up and also even more importantly like trading secret says here there will be twists there will be turns games deception fud lies you absolutely name it just like what happened with amc entertainment and gme s1 will come and the panic will start we all know the true value stay smart so like i said if you still believe in this movement if you still believe in this stock here and everything about it and you still believe it will go up a small pullback should honestly not scare you but nevertheless that's why you guys need to always do your own research first after my little spiel here i'm gonna tell you guys exactly how i'm playing this stock to ultimately not lose in my opinion so stay tuned for that but Nevertheless, here, MMLT, ML, MMTLP is the only squeeze play in history backed up by the 3.2 billion barrels of oil. Spread the word. Is it? 
Is it actually backed by these billion billions of barrels of oil or is it actually hydrocarbons? Not sure. Leave me that comment down below. Like I said, guys, for me, I'm a swing trader. I like to swing trade these stocks, but I love to see the fundamental argument. So leave me a comment down below. Do you think this is a fundamental play or not? Nevertheless, if this is true, then obviously, yes, this is the only squeeze play in history to ultimately have this. But let's read this here, get a little more in depth on the facts here. The short squeeze of MMTLP. On October 5th, the company filed form S1 to the SEC disclosing that the price of MMTLP may rise significantly due to shorts closing out their position prior to the distribution date. This is ultimately what got me back on the MMTLP train. That was this S1 right here where you saw short and short squeeze mentioned like a hundred times through the filing. Investors literally just latched onto that. Absolutely loved it. And this stock shot up days after that hundreds of percent obviously a slight pullback but nevertheless to a massive rally after that obviously investors love seeing the word short squeeze in there but also whoever owns mmtlp by the record date or by the record date will get new shares of next bridge and is eligible for any payouts slash buyouts the company has a projection of 3.2 billion uh, oil barrels with over 100 acres of land insiders who own one third of mmtlp have not sold a single share estimates of any payout or buyouts are now priced at over $50 per share due to the rising price of oil and gas, which is obviously absolutely massive to see a payout or buyout of this substantial of a number. That is absolutely huge. Also, we can see estimates of short positions in MMTLP are around 10 to 90 million, which include naked shorts, international shorts, spread the word of MMTLP. So a lot of there is the straight facts for the short squeeze argument for this stock. Also, do you agree with this right here? MMTLP going to make some new millionaires. If this, uh, if this price action be, or if this is the price action before the S1 approval, what is going to happen when the approval actually comes out? No shorts can be carried over. It's going to be becoming a private company this is going to be big and this is a very strong point that someone brought up here yeah i don't think a lot of folks realize that fact there won't be that kind of seen on amc gme bbby any shorts left on the books uh, on the closing day will be forced to close their position end of story this is definitely one to hold up until the day before just to see how it shakes out but of course always going to be fomo nevertheless you name it there right but anyways, like I told you guys in yesterday's video, personally for me, I am a swing trader. I do not plan to hold MMTLP for months or years to come and see how it ultimately plays out, right? Not to say that it won't, not to say that it isn't great, not to say that the fundamentals aren't there for all of this. Like I said, I want to see your thoughts down in the comments. Personally though, that's just not how I play stocks, at least most of them, right? Short-term swing trader. I like to capitalize on short-term movements and like I said, that's no offense to anyone. That's just my personal opinion, right? That's why when I saw the S1 and all these shorts, short squeeze, all those words in there, that was just an immediate play that I knew investors were absolutely going to latch onto that, right? Now, I personally plan to play this uh, leading into the future here to ultimately not lose is if you're in early to this play, if you're already up substantially on this play, one way that you literally cannot lose in this play, set your stop loss in profit, or if you have an advanced, more advanced trading software, set a trailing stop loss, right? Right? If you set your trailing stop loss to a certain percent and then you also set um, or and or set a stop loss in profit, therefore you cannot lose on this play. Even if this play decides to keep coming down, 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 you at least get out in profit on your stop loss. Take your money. If you want to get back in, get back in at a lower price or just take your money and run, right? And that's how you cannot lose in this play. And I don't think there's a very big argument as to why that's not a fantastic idea, right? Whether you believe in the company or not, obviously, you know, anything can happen in the market. Take a look at AMC Entertainment. It did have an absolutely massive movement, but obviously it came all the way back down. And many people, unfortunately, were up tens, hundreds of thousands of dollars, ended up losing all of that. So it's just something smart to make sure that doesn't happen. In. set a stop loss in profits so you can always get out in profit that's just my personal opinion and that's the exact way that i plan to do this so i can get out in profit and absolutely not lose any money on the play while still watching this entire thing play out because i do think it has absolutely massive potential and i do think it is the number one squeeze play in the market right now do not get me wrong about that but 
Anyways, guys, there's my thoughts on ticker symbol MMTLP. Leave me a comment down below what you think. Let's move on to the next couple tickers that I have for you in today's video. And don't sleep on these because I truly believe a lot of these penny stocks here are going to rally hundreds of percent gains. Not financial advice, it's just my thoughts. Number one here is going to be ticker symbol DVLP. This stock has been paying out substantially. We've been loading up in this stock in the 40s, 50s, and 60s for months, right? And now it is finally on a beautiful rally up here over the last five days. It is up about 61% which is awesome take a look at the dd here reduce the share structure by 25 percent soon up to four acquisitions by the first quarter of next year debt cleared soon 90 million in revenue this year open to interviews very transparent float is low nasdaq is the real goal no reverse split as of now knowledgeable with the otc slash bb so much good stuff here shout out to crown king here for all of the dd but just like he says here i don't think people understand how big this is not market cap but revenue 60 to 65 million in revenue from their second second acquisition which they just put out this pr right here could be coming very very soon and should be coming very very soon but taking a look here, DVLP, wow, two acquisitions. We're looking at 82 to $89 million in revenue. The current market cap of this stock is sitting at $7.8 million. You're talking about with the current price per share at 0 0.0082. You're literally talking about a 10x opportunity here. When you take a look at their revenues to their current market cap and just a simple price to sales ratio and something reasonable of maybe a one to one, you're looking at a possible 10x play for this stock, which is huge. Once these two acquisitions are done, it's less than a month away. You could see some big things happen with DVLP. I'm very, very excited for this company. And those 40s, 50s, and 60s buys just seem to keep printing money and paying off very, very, very well. But anyways, moving on to the next stock here. That is ticker symbol INTK. This puppy went from red to green on close here, finished up about 4% on the day, and is also at a pretty decent buying opportunity at a very nice support level where it's sitting at right now. They're in the news a lot right now. $28 million lawsuit right here. But more importantly, they're going to be presenting to KPC, who happens to produce 7% of the world's crude oil supply. Like a scalp it says here what do you think happens if these guys decide that they love intk he's already doing a 22 million dollar project for them you think it we won't invest in the company you don't think much more is going to be happening ahead so it kind of gives you a little bit of idea here um like kanye invest says mark my words intk will eventually make it to nasdaq many people sleeping on this news it's going to be so much stuff happening here and unfolding with ticker symbol intk and personally i think at these levels it's a pretty good buying opportunity finishing it up here with ticker symbol brll i'm gonna give you a hint i may just have something big coming up for brll here um possibly this week that's all i'm gonna say on the topic but nevertheless i do think uh brll here is at a fantastic price point right now but also i do think uh that they have even more potential coming up here in the future like it says brll looking beautiful and barrel energy will be putting out updates soon a rumor has it that it is big as we can see here uh, from BRLL here, we can see that, uh, you know, they released some press releases lately and they still have much more bigger news to come. So we are waiting for that bigger news. And I do think when it finally hits, it's going to be very, very good. Nevertheless, me personally, I have something coming up here with BRLL that I think you guys are very much going to enjoy. And I think it's going to give you a lot of information on lithium, on how lithium relates to EVs, what specifically Barrel Energy is doing and how they set themselves apart from their competitors. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Put that notification button on so you do not miss that i do think you will like it wrapping it up here as radio silence says these are some more of my favorite plays right here stgz brll amnl ifus crga uh they have those stocks right there so shout out to him but those are some of my top plays as well nevertheless guys that is all i have for you in today's video this was an absolutely beast list of penny stocks that i put out for you guys today in addition to talking to ticker symbol mmtlp here which has a possible 50 dollar price target on this play give me your thoughts on mmtlp LP down in the comments below are you still bullish or not and give me your reasons why guys absolutely love to see it with that said though guys that is all i got for you in today's video if you're not already come join us in the private discord community so you can bank on these penny stocks option trades every single day of the week and most importantly trade live with me every single day the market is open with that said that's all i got for you guys and i will see you in the next one